like Woods, and he's going to draw that attention. Part of his job is to keep that attention. The job for everybody else is to take advantage of two men covering him. Somebody else has got to step up. Josh Fields has missed his last five passes. Look out. Throws this one. Never had a chance because of the pressure. And Brandon Shelby let Fields have it. And Oklahoma State held without a first down on seven of their nine drives today. They've only ran three plays in Oklahoma territory all day. Barden will kick. And Perkins, who hasn't been able to shake loose as a punt returner, back again deep. Antonio's going to have to call fair catch. Harden's done a nice job today keeping it away from number 28, at least keeping him from doing any damage. Oklahoma's got it back at their 19-yard line. ABC Sports presentation of college football brought to you by Bud Light. For the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. Sprint proudly offering picture mail and PCS Vision picture phones. And Pontiac, vote for this week's ultimate Pontiac high-performance play at ESPN.com slash Pontiac. Nice day in Norman. Didn't start that way, actually. We had a lot of rain this morning. Looked like uh, it was going to be a muddy field, but the sun has come out and stayed out most of the day. From the 19 now, Oklahoma hasn't done much on offense in their last three or four possessions. Here comes Ronaldo Works, so. And that'll work. Looks like it might be a first down. Thomas Wright made the tackle. And they'll move the sticks. So Works started the game. Kiwan Jones came in, scored a couple of touchdowns, and now Ronaldo's back out there. You got three true freshmen on this defense because of injury and attrition for, um, for the Cowboys. You got Fountain on the left. Uh, you got Gertman in the defensive line, and you've got DeGrate. So this Oklahoma uh, Sooner offensive line making, making some hay while you've got those young kids in there. These are quality kids, blue chippers, that are going to be yeah. fine football players. For a long time. And there's a guy you don't want down. Darren Williams out of Fort Worth, the injured player, and he is their leading interceptor, their leading punt returner, has their only touchdown, and obviously is in some pain. Boy, that would be a tough, tough loss for the Cowboys. Here's a look at the two corners, punt returners. Here's Darren Williams. This is his career. He's had seven punt return, uh, seven touchdowns, two on punt returns and five interceptions. Antonio Perkins on the other side has had seven punt return for touchdowns. So those are two guys playing defensive back, playing corner, that are dangerous big play guys. Darren with two touchdowns returned for scores this year on interceptions once against Kansas State and the one earlier today and he's still down working on the lower left leg and while we check on Darren we'll check in with John Saunders at Times Square Stadium in New York John well a little bit of history here Pittsburgh wide receiver Larry Fitzgerald just a sophomore Juwan Walker the running back takes the pitch and tosses it to Fitzgerald that's 14 straight games with at least one touchdown reception that is an NCAA Division one a record and you see the receiving yards on the season he leads the nation just a sophomore but one of the leaders in the Heisman hunt just a sophomore something else huh everybody getting a rest is Derrick Williams limping off Let's see if we can find out what happened to him. He was part of the tackle. I think that's him right there on the left side. He and Victor DeGrate both going to combine on the stop. I think what happened already has happened because he was. Oh, there he comes. <laughs> At any rate. That's not good when your cornerback is uh, limping off the field. They put a lot of pressure. The Cowboys has put a lot of pressure on the cornerbacks in this defense. I'd be going after his replacement. That's Daniel McLemore who's in to take his spot. Clayton's in motion across the field, but straight up the middle is Works. DeGrate got the hit on him. And DeGrate kind of hanging an arm on his right shoulder too now. There's the replacement. 
for Darren Williams, Daniel McLemore, sophomore. He's, he's not a very big guy either. He's smaller. <laughs> he's smaller than Darren. <laughs> <laughs> he's 5'7 and 170. DeGrade, I mentioned, made the tackle and then just kind of hung his arm. And now he does go down to a knee. So back to back plays where Oklahoma State loses a player. One a starter, one a backup player that's in for a starter that was injured earlier. Time permitting, stay tuned for the Thrifty Car Rental Post Game Report. John Terry and Craig will have all the scores and highlights from across the country. Here we're in Norman, a record crowd on hand today. Bob and Brad, if, if I'm Clayton or if I'm any receiver for Oklahoma, what I'm thinking about right now is trying to get number four's uniform just a little bit dirty at yep. that cornerback position. No doubt. Shotgun here with four wideouts for Jason White. Down the middle, Clayton on the run, across the 45. Still on his feet out to the 49-yard line. Yeah, this defense now is just all discombobulated. They don't, they, they've got two of their defensive uh, linebackers are hurt. Their best corner is out. One of their linemen is out. I mean, they, this defense came in ranked 69th in the country coming in, playing one of the best offenses, and they've had three or four of their starters hurt. And 91st against the pass, and when you start Losing defensive backs, putting in guys that are smaller than the little guys that were out there. As Swanee said, you take advantage, and they did right there to Mark Clayton, who now has five catches for 79 yards. He got 17 on that one. First down for the Sooners. Stop Mason and go. White, stop and go, pump fake and going deep. Man out there off the fingertips. Mark Bradley kind of pulled his arms in, short-armed it a little, or it would have been a touchdown. Perfectly thrown. Bradley doesn't get a lot of opportunity to play. He's behind all these other guys. It was a stop and go on McLemore, the substitution for Darrett Williams. You Ooh. gotta catch it. He's a, he's a junior, only six catches coming in, one for a touchdown, but oh boy. You get, you get it called, you get it open, and then you don't make the play. And then the best thing about putting that guy in there, Bob, is he's got fresh legs. He's a little fresher, a little more burst on that break, and he had everything he looked for. Yeah. Fresh legs, stale hands. <laughs> Second and 10. And here comes Works. Ronaldo. And he's taken out hard, out of bounds. And a late hit's going to come in on Carter. Father Carter took him out in front of the Oklahoma bench. He doesn't think it was a late hit, but after about a nine yard gain, it was a little too wide to the bench of Oklahoma. So tack on another 15 to the nine he gained. Well, those are tough ones. Yeah, when you try to tell the defense to, it wasn't on the guy that had it. No. It was on the other guy that came in and hit him late, and he was still in bounds when he made contact with him. It's always tough when the defense near the sideline says, you know, should I hit him? Am I pull, should I pull back or, or what? Especially when you're going 80 miles an hour. So it moves it to the 27-yard line. First down, Oklahoma, leading 24-9. In the Bedlam battle here in Norman. Works up the middle. Still driving. Brought down as he got inside the 25 with Bob Greasy and Lynn Swan. Brad Nestler with you in the 98th meeting between Oklahoma State and Oklahoma. The Cowboys have won the last two. Kind of spoiling some sooner seasons along the way. This is the fourth straight time Oklahoma has started a season 8-0. They're en route to a 9-0, it appears. But Oklahoma State stays in it with Darren Williams' interception in this quarter. That's the only touchdown for the Cowboys so far. They can't get their offense, a high-powered offense, on track. And Oklahoma has really even sputtered in that capacity today. But they still lead 24-9. Works again. First down and more. Inside the 15, breaks away to the end zone. At the one foot line, he's out of bounds. 22 yard run for Ronaldo Works. The 
The Cowboys go to a three-man line, and this big offensive line for the Sooners just pick it up. Davin Joseph and uh, Jamal Brown, those big guys up front, and then Works just lets them do their work, and then he almost gets in. Boy, close. Just out. As close as you can get. And he's over 100 yards. Kewan Jones has two of the rushing touchdowns. Jason White has a third. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Flags down. Gets as a the quarterback sneak took it in. But again, penalty markers on the play. Offsides on the defense. Penalty to Clyde. Touchdown. It's a touchdown for Jason White. Jason will get credit for a yard that was only a matter of inches. Trey DiCarlo coming in. The Sooner fans and cheerleaders are happy because it's about to be 31 to 9. That caps an 81 yard march in eight plays. So Ronaldo Works went over the century mark to get him that close. Jason White did the rest of the damage. Number one, Oklahoma, 31 to nine. 